Yeah, so I started programming in university. So this is where I, for the first time, got access to unlimited internet. So I was curious how internet work, how to build websites. So I started to read some articles and books about PHP and JavaScript, as those are the main, more popular languages for web development. In a couple of months, I got my first order to build website. So this is how it became not just a hobby, but a job. And uh, yeah, then after university, I started work full time as a web developer. So I learned about uh, code quality, unit tests, uh, application architecture, and many, many things that you need uh, to be a backend developer. And after a couple of years, I came to, to Radar, where I work now for six years. My current position is lead backend engineer. And in this role, I'm involved in all stages of product development, from idea to solution design to implementing it in the code. What I find challenging but also interesting in this position is I should always think few steps ahead as I'm responsible for a couple of projects in the company. So I'm responsible that my solutions are scalable, easy to support and maintain in the future. Also, some of my team's changes might affect other teams, so I should predict those situations and communicate it with other tech leads or uh, coordinate those initiatives uh, that span across multiple teams. When it comes to technologies that I prefer, we at Trader started to use more and more serverless applications. Um, I find this concept really interesting and helpful. It allows us to launch new projects very quickly. They are scalable and cost efficient because we only pay for the resources uh, that we actually use. And as we host everything on AWS, so we use their services such as Lambda functions, DynamoDB, data storage, step functions, and API gateway to build more complex workflows. So pretty much everything AWS provides in that field. Yeah, if you want to become a programmer, First of all, you should find the field that is interesting to you. For me, it was web development. It might be games, mobile applications. There are a lot of fields where programming is applicable. Yeah, I find it easy to learn by doing. So I would recommend find some tutorial, article or video. It usually allows you to build some real application in a couple of hours. But once you finished something, it really motivates to learn more and more. And also those uh, articles usually do not work uh, as expected out of the box. So you would need to fix some issues. You would need to read through documentation. So you'll find some useful resources to learn more about those technologies. And yeah, when it comes to keeping myself up to date, uh, Main source for me would be my job as we constantly monitor how we could improve our systems. Uh, so there is a lot of space to try new things at work. Otherwise, yeah, obviously I read some books, watch uh, videos about technologies that are interesting to me. And I'm also subscribed to a couple of newsletters, for example, about AWS, about PHP and frameworks that we use.